Maria Espinosa, I teach at Miguel Carrillo Jr. I teach second grade. I was actually at a training for GT and I got a text that they were doing the nominations. So being the person that I was, I said, oh, I'll vote for me. So I let it go and then I come back and I get a text from my principal like, you won teacher of the year. I was like, what? And I was like, are you kidding or are you? He's like, no, really you won. And then by that I got other texts from other uh, colleagues. And so it was just very exciting, very overwhelming because my peers believed in me and they see what I do for my kids. It's a passion. It's something that I feel that I have to give back to my community being from here. I am a product of South San. I remember growing up, coming from a family of nine, being the fifth one, having the limited resources, uh, being able to make it with what we had, um, having teachers who believed in me. Um, and so I felt once I graduate, I knew in my heart that I would come back and give back to my community, knowing that if I can make a difference in someone else, it would be here. I make sure that I build critical thinkers. I want them to be able to understand that what they think and feel and interpret in their social culture, be able to make a connection, teach them to know that what they have is meaningful and making them, teaching them to believe in themselves, knowing that you can be unstoppable if you really believe in yourself and knowing that you're going to be placed in situations where sometimes you're going to feel like you can't, but always remind yourself that if you believe in yourself and you strive, you can make a difference within yourself to be a better person or be able to accomplish those dreams that you have. But this one particular kid, child, who just had no motivation and it was a constant talk, a constant getting him to believe in himself. You know, he was coming from a very difficult family and just trying to teach him and instill in him that, you know what, what happens at home I cannot change, but when you're in here, you're showing me your thinking, you're showing me what you are capable of doing. And so he was able to move forward and, and believe in himself. And he would have the self-doubt, but letting him see his own progress through his work, through his accomplishments, it just made me feel like this was just one little boy. How much more can I do to other kids? So I am actually part of the cohort program for UTSA and South Sand, and we are working as reading specialists. So I am currently working on my master's. Um, I pers I'm hoping to continue be a reading specialist. Um, I've gotten lots of suggestions that I should do administration, but for the moment, I think I'm going to focus still in the classroom, but eventually become the reading specialist. I want to be able to give these children the opportunity to become long life readers and be successful in that aspect.